Hey guys, what is up everybody and welcome to a new video. Today we are going to speak about Triumph Tiger 662 Sport. I was reading this motorcycle for the past few months and over the time it feels like I got a sense of this motorcycle and I understand it. So my goal in this video is to give you my practical opinion on what this bike is really suitable for and uh, who should or should not buy it. Right from the beginning I must mention that this motorcycle is beautiful. It's not seen through the screen of your phone or tablet but this bike is just stunning once you see it in real life. And uh, I basically like exterior of the motorcycle. I like the details, colors and just mix of everything. Just to keep in mind that this bike is entry level sport touring motorcycle in Triumph lineup and it targets those people who are just moving from smaller motorcycles or maybe maxi scooters or they just new to their motorcycling in general and not often you'll see that entry-level motorcycle will be that nice looking. So over the time I was riding it, I, I got a feeling that this motorcycle is more like city bike. It will grab some attention whenever you want to commute or go for evening ride. Even from the design standpoint, it is more like mix of street and sport motorcycles with a little bit better wind protection. And if I need to ride this bike in cities, this will be the best motorcycle to go. It is compact, it makes it easy to maneuver, it is beautiful, it just looks excellent in traffic and it has perfect engine. Most 6700cc motorbikes are equipped with a twin or inline 4 engines. I believe that is not really good combination for city because twin engines are generally good but for me they are boring and they don't sound that good. Where inline 4 engines are not that practical because you need to rev them all time to get that torque level. The, this one three cylinder engine is really good and elastic engine which delivers power from lower to higher RPMs. So it is really perfect for almost any scenario in the city. Now when it comes to long journeys or travels, I actually not sure this motorcycle will be the right choice. Of course, if it's your only motorcycle or if you're, if it's your first motorcycle, using it for a big trip will be your only options and it actually has things uh, for that, such as adjustable windscreen or adjustable rear shock. You also have two riding modes, you have ABS, you have traction control, it's really well packed. And you can also install panniers or a top box, but in general, I don't feel this motorcycle is perfect for, for, for journeys and I was talking about it in my previous videos because the seat is not comfortable, the front fork is a little bit soft and not adjustable, tires are super sticky which is good but they're good for racetrack or in-town use and they will wear off quickly on a highway. There is no central stand or even possibility of installing one, which makes it a little bit hard to maintain the bike on the road. And in general, I feel that materials which are used on this motorcycle are kind of bright and shiny and they will wear off quickly if you start to use this motorcycle in a tough road trips. My take on that, this is a beautiful in-city motorcycle with the ability to tour for a couple of days. It has many modern features and you can also install extras and basically play around adding this and that uh, to get a sense of customizing or building your very own motorcycle. You'll get attention in the city, you will enjoy it, how it looks and uh, it will surely put smile on your face. But it won't be the best machine if you want to put big miles on it and go for long distances. So guys, I hope it's been helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, leave them in the comment section below. I will be happy to discuss it and, uh, you know, just see your perspective on it. Thank you so much for watching till the end and I'll see you next one. Cheers.